What happened at the pre-party? <laughs> Just having a good time. Chad, you oh. want to address what happened on Saturday? <laughs> what happened on Saturday? Uh, Chad, we, was, this is Chad trying to. I'm, I'm already zoomed in. He's trying to get uh, Brad Williams. To, Brad, Chad's going like this. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, trying to connect them. I'm like, why are you squinting? Why are you squinting? I don't remember. There's, <laughs> it got away from me. It's a podcast that got away from me, and I apologize. Yeah, but it was how? How did you get so drunk at three o'clock in the afternoon? Oh, you hammered. Four? Oh yeah, I went out. I went uh, with some friends of mine who came through, and uh, there's these bars near near our house. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh shit, we got to do the podcast. So I I race back on my bicycle. I'm tempted to start drinking and do my own Botox, but I feel like I would it would throw off the schedule. I I want to kind of fire myself up while I talk to you. Wow. That'll All right, May Ron. We're here with May Ron. We're here to talk NBA sports with May Ron. I'm <laughs> wicked psyched about it. Yes. Let's talk NBA, they, play, uh, NBA playoffs and uh, Ben Simmons, where he's headed to. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> I told May Ron before the podcast, I've been hearing his name a lot as of late. Why? People are talking. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that anyone should still be talking about it. It's been a week. It's been like two weeks. It's a, it's yeah, a two weeks. Return. That's not that long. That's long. Not For, really. Like American news cycle. That's it's, you know, so many things have happened since then. You're like the gay pang dang. <laughs> that's a good, pang, that's a good, that's a good dang. title for the show. Gay pang dang. <laughs> who's pang dang? Should I know? Is it political or is it sports? He's the one who got Tony Hinchcliffe kind of canceled. The Asian oh. fellow. Okay. Oh. He's also Kevin's best friend. Oh, besties. Yeah, yeah but I wasn't trying to get it. No, I, I know. Think... Neither was he. He's just standing up for himself. Well, I wasn't even standing up for myself. I mean, maybe a little. What happened? What's your perspective? So, all right. So it's uh, Thursday night. Well, you're standing night. up for yourself because he's. You think he's anti-gay? You think he's anti a lot of things? I th it's not that. I think. He, yeah, I think he has a really narrow scope of what you know what yeah but gets also to be he in the world. Yeah, yeah but also he we're talking about montreal comet festival also yeah. he probably says you know this is what works in montreal this is uh you know he has bosses that probably you know like when the, when uh when when uh eddie brill or whatever booked letterman yeah eddie brill had in his head the joke you know you had to wear a suit and they all did because Letterman was like, I like guys to wear a suit and I like guys to like be clean. Eddie Brill gave some terrible notes to uh, – right now uh, there was a kid, Joe Wong. Do you guys know Joe Wong? Yeah. Is he related to Peng Dang? My God. He, uh, he was a comic in Boston and uh, now he, I think he hosts the only comedy show in China. Don't quote me on that, but it's he he literally has like a hundreds of millions of viewers a night show. But w when I started out in Boston, he was more established. And Eddie Brill had been like uh, coaching him and sort of recruiting him to go on Letterman for a while. And when Joe ran his set, Joe had a way of telling a joke and then smiling at the audience. That was like that is his rhythm. And so he would do that. And. Eddie Bro was like, yeah, do you know what would be funnier is if you didn't smile so that you were mm. like a bewildered Asian. Mm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, these are the ways in which, like, uh, sort of tastes are uh, sort of injected. And uh, then the next guy feels like, OK, I, if if bewildered Asian is the only thing that sells, then I guess I have to be a bewildered Asian. And then that it's then a trend starts does that make any sense no it's just that they try to they first of all they're getting paid to do a job so they think they have to they they also think like okay what is, what do we think dave letterman likes and even if the, even if it, it, the problem is it gets narrower and narrower at, you know cuz they cuz they once they have the job for a while they're like they don't want to piss dave off so they're like we'll get this guy who's safe and we'll get this guy who you know the guy's not going to be any trouble they won't get mad. So you end up taking like no chances. Fucking Daniel Kellison, the first time I did, uh, I mean, I like Daniel Kellison. I'm friends with him. I went to his 50th birthday party or whatever when I lived in LA. But uh, he, 
he said I had a cow tipping joke that I was that was I had to do on my first Letterman thing, and then I was and I used to do a bunch of colleges in the Midwest. So I guess I had, I was referencing the, the Midwest a couple of times in a, sure. in a in a five minute set. He said, "Why don't you just say you're from Iowa?" I go, J- "You mean just lie, just lie?" <laughs> so like my my cousins watch would be like, "Why why you're not from Iowa?" And I'm yeah. It's just so it's so preposterous. But they don't give a shit. They're protecting they their job. So Jeff yeah. Singer, Jeff Singer's like, you know, he gives you notes, or he's like, we want this kind. We want people that are outside the box, but they don't, you know, they unless don't. you're like, unless you're French or something, or like you're making a big splash. Unless somewhere. you're French. No, because the 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 French in in Montreal. So it's like oh, so, sure, 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 sure. So so the point is that they 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 think they want outside the box. Everybody wants outside the box, but they really don't. They want to just protect their job. And so singer, when, singer's not going to have you on because, or if he does, he'll be like, oh, this you know, he'll say to his bosses, you know, this guy's very gay. He's a little flamboyant. And so and they'll be like, well, we already had so and so, and they always uh-huh. have an excuse. They just want Dave Chappelle to show up. So, so everybody but else, don't. But everybody they don't. They else is just like, Shea. huh? They pass. They passed on okay, Che. Michael Che is not Dave Chappelle. Sorry. Ah, all black. Say, all black guys are all black another, guys are not equal. He's no, but he, he Michael Che was written off as just another black guy from New York, according to. Okay, it's like, true. How is it not true? He's been on S. He's been on SNL for seven years. More people talk about you than Michael Che. This episode's controversial. No, it's just it's like I don't have to I don't have to pretend like Michael Che has all this charisma. He doesn't. He's a very funny comic, a nice guy. I like people him, but he's not Dave Chappelle. Him. Huh? People respond people to him. He's been on SNL for seven years. Nobody's mentioned his name. <laughs> in seven years. I just did. He's got um, a sketch show on HBO Plus. I haven't heard anyone mention his name since you did, and this is the first time in years. Well, and speaking only- of Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle. I'm actually Team Neil now regarding Dave Chappelle because wow. Dave Chappelle went to the Foo Fighters concert last night and was brought on stage. So it's like that's mental illness where you're like, "Hey, what should I do on a on a Sunday day off? <laughs> Let me go on stage at Madison Square Garden." I'm not even into rock and roll. Every every group I had on the Chappelle show was a black dude, rap, <laughs> hip hop. I've never I have no association with with the Foo Fighters or rock and roll. <laughs> but let me go on stage because I need the attention, even on a Sunday. I need I need Sunday attention. It's very real. I don't have no. That it's boat. mentally ill. It's boat. mental I illness. I want to go to a, I want to go to a comedy show and see Dave Grohl do a shitty set. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up. Yeah, I mean it's so it's just and people be like, well, that's people want to see him. It's like nobody was thinking like, is Dave Chappelle gonna show up? That'd be you great just if enjoy Dave, the concert. If you really want to see the wow, concert, be, it really would really suck this concert if Dave Chappelle didn't walk on stage. So we can get <laughs> well, a he's having, there's a he's ha- he's hosting a party tonight. I just got invited. <laughs> yeah, he's probably here for the Wang Gang, but that guy's gonna lose, which 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 is great. News. Hard, hard. He's gonna lose because hard. you know, and and so, but you know, but Dave Chappelle needs to go on stage at Madison Square Garden. It's meant to. It's mentally. I, I actually, I really hear this. what you're saying. I really huh? do. I really hear what you're saying because when I'm not performing, the very last thing I think of doing is offering myself to the public in some way. Does that make it like? Yeah, it's mental illness. It's it mental nutty. illness. They can yeah. say it's anything else, but it's literally mental illness. <laughs> I think the biggest story is your team Neil now. When yeah. it, no, just regarding Chappelle. I, oh. I flip, what, what, what's Neil's take on Dave? I don't know who gives a shit, but I, I'm just saying I flipped after last night. I'm like, I Dave Chappelle is he. At this point, he's he's sad. It's sad where you got to. I mean, I could say if he was if he was into them, or if he's like a big rock guy, or if it was Mitch Hedberg, uh-huh. and like obviously he's in a rock and roll. But they just and he's not even from New York. Dave doesn't live here, so for him to, like, he lives in Ohio, right? For him to just go up on stage and be like, "I need to be seen tonight," not and not at not at a Chipotle. I need to be seen <laughs> at Madison Square, motherfucking garden, the first concert back. Since the pandemic, I should show up at that, shouldn't I? That's like Florentine going to the Wu Tang concert and going on stage. No, it's nothing like it. It's. Mm-hmm. I thought it would like be a great it. analogy. No, I thought it's it. nothing like and it. I guess it's it wasn't. Zero. It's it's bad negative. analogy. It's Kevin negative. is my north star for not giving a fuck. It is unreal. <laughs> like you were, you were even trying. Chad was leaning in. 
He's like, no, it's absolutely not. I'll die yeah. alone on this hill. Yeah. I love that. That, that was like Chad. That. That, Chad was going up like for a lap like Ben Simmons was. <laughs> yeah. I airballed that shot. That's fine. I'm going to recover. Keep shooting. <laughs> It's just, it's, just, it's just like he's not known for being a rock guy, but it's like, but I, I'm known for being a complete star uh, uh, attention whore. Which, and I am known for that. I am known for that. So that? I will t- please introduce me. It's not enough for me to be on the side of the stage. I want to be introduced. I can't wow. just enjoy a concert. I have to go up on stage. I think he was smoking. <laughs> somebody had sent me the clip. Actually, somebody I knew was there. And it was not a Foo Fighters song. He was, I think he was yeah, saying a radio ad song. It was, it was very radio. weird. What, very weird. Sang? Very weird. Yeah. He sang? Yeah, what? he sang the whole song, like a six minute song. It was very strange. No, he didn't. That's he sang fun. the whole song? The whole song. Wow. wow. I watched the whole thing. By you himself? Know. Yeah. <laughs> Why? And he's not a sing- He's not a good singer. You know, no disrespect. He's a guy, good comic. Yeah, but, yeah God but. forbid he just gets back to him that you don't say he's a bad singer. I already God said forbid. he Googles himself, so. But to your point, Kevin, I, I totally agree with you that it, Jeff Singer has every right to book Montreal the way that he wants to. And uh, I and it came up for me, like, because here's what happened. Thursday night, I'm hosting a show at The Cellar. One of the comics tells me that uh, Singer was dropping N-bombs at uh, Just for Laughs callbacks mm, at where? the stand. At, at the, the stand. stand on Thursday night. On Thursday night, that right. w- this that uh, w- a woman who is betrothed to one of our, our comedian friends, uh, she said something about n words, like you know, like something n words, and then he said it back to her verbatim, and she was like, "I'm gonna give you a pass, but you can't say that to black women. You can't say that to black people. You can't say the n word to black people." And then he said it again, mm. and then somebody tried to stop him, and then he said it again, and two. Uh, pretty well-known black comics moved in on him and they were like, but they were still brushing his hair. They weren't stopped. They weren't like, you're canceled. You need to cut the shit. They were like, Jeff, it's really not cool. Like everyone was being super nice to him. He I heard doubling the story. Down. He, he quadrupled down. He, yeah. so he kept was drunk. He was had been drinking. He must have had a drink or two. That, that seems to this, be like. This was at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. All right. After the auditions. Uh and then, so I hear, I catch wind of this story and I'm like, why doesn't someone just drop a fucking house on this guy? So the next night I had to host two shows in a row at the cellar, the late shows. I was in the bath before the show. I had taken mushrooms. In 10 minutes, I wrote what I wrote. Just being like, you know, fuck Jeff Singer. Wait, what fuck happened? Him, fuck him in his stupid Wait, house. what happened? I was on mushrooms. You're high. In the Wait, tub. Wait you said, what, what does that have to do with the, what does that have to do with the, the, the next, comedy cellar? I, so I I was getting ready to host two shows in a row, the Friday night late shows at yeah. McDougal. And I was in the tub. I had taken mushrooms because I couldn't drink. And Wait, you I, take mushrooms before you host? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Am I the only one who is not a degenerate? What? Wait, this is, doesn't make me a degenerate. Is this yeah, like, a, like a micro dosing situation or like a full trip? No, I would say it was like a quarter dose. Like a qu- like a quarter ounce? Not a quarter ounce. Not no, a quarter, I would or say, a quarter of an eighth, maybe. I would say I would say a if a half an eighth is a dose, I would say it was okay a quarter half a of a okay. half. Yeah, yeah. So so an of an eighth. So you host. You're a better host when you microdose. Uh, I think I, well, it, it helped me loosen up a little. I hadn't been away like it was the latest I've been up since COVID. I didn't know where my energy was going to come from. And so I ate a little bit of mushrooms. All right. And then. And so you're in the tub. I'm in the tub and I'm naked, the mushrooms. naked in the tub. It's very. No, I wear I wear swim trunks in the tub. Well, sometimes because people I'm are... afraid of seeing my own pubic hair. And, and honestly, at this point, I should be. I'll show you. It's fucked up. No, Not that any pubes are. I believe no. everything you're saying. You don't we have to don't edit it. All right. So, <laughs> so, then you're, so you're. You're microdose, you're in the tub before I'm in the your tub. shows. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck Jeff Singer. And I wrote this thing in wait, 10 Wait, wait, one more question. Do you go to the tub a lot? You usually take Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm constantly in the bath. If I weren't with you right now, I would be in the tub. That's your, uh, that's your thing. It is my thing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I just wrote this thing very quickly. I edited it once for, like, spelling because I don't even look at it when I hit send. And then I hit send and then I worked all night. And then... 
the next morning I wake up and my name is on Twitter a bit and uh, Guy Branham decided to start with me again. That fucking moron. And uh, Guy Branham, who's that? Yeah, Guy Branham, he's a gay comedian. He tried to like see when Louis was like in the process of getting canceled four years ago, he wrote an article for Vulture where I ended up flipping off him and Vulture saying that the table at the Comedy Cellar is the reason uh, that predators get to thrive. Mm. And he was like, there are no women and there are no gay people at the table at the Comedy Cellar. And he wrote that as a, as a statement of fact, and it got published. Oh. And I was like, I'm literally sitting next to like Jess Kirsten and Judy Gold while I'm reading this. It was by, by the way, in, I'm, the tub, in the tub. In the tub. I'm in the uh, Judy Gold and Jess Kirsten. I'm on his Wikipedia and it says personal life. Branham is gay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's his yeah. <laughs> but I, I and I, I, I can't believe I can't that's believe with any degree of success. But um, yeah, he's he. So he wrote this thing at the time. I was like, guy, like this is so stupid of you. You could have called any of us. You could have written any of us. And uh, and also there are plenty of facts. Like the you're he's just you're, doing that. He's doing that because I mean, his story. First of all, he's not. I've never even seen him at the Comedy Cellar. Uh, yeah, he's, a, all, he's an LA comic. Second of all, you know the the the, the comedy cellar table historically was just the, the tough crowd guys. We, mm. You know that's why everybody hated it because it was just mm. you know all the hacks from the tough crowd. Most of them are dead now, but uh, but <laughs> you know it was Patrice, Geraldo, Bobby Kelly, Norton, and Nick DiPaolo. So everybody hated it if you weren't one of those guys because mm. it would just make fun of your shirt. I mean Bobby would. Bobby would make fun because Bobby's a Bobby's an alt comic. He, he keeps it. He, he's way out there. <laughs> he, sees a, he sees a funny show. He does twenty minutes on a guy's shirt. Anyway, so that's why. I I, so I don't even love Kevin. I, I don't even have a problem him. with this guy Brandon because, to some degree, he was right. When the when the comedy seller table. No, no, no. Let me finish. Mm. When the comedy seller because they for years they didn't have a table, mm. and then when they officially had the table, it was basically when the the era when Tough Crowd started. So it was all, it was basically all the tough crowd guys, but it was all white fucking macho guys who, and, and Patrice, he was the one black guy who, and Keith, and they would just shit on everybody. So it was not a friendly table. That's what, it, that's maybe I what like it, the, I like. It's still not friendly. People still call me Nathan. Two I never go shit. there. They're I awesome. never, I never go to the comedy seller table. It's not friendly to me. So uh, I I always love seeing you at it, and that's I don't just give a, a shit. I'm saying the table. I'm saying if I if it was just you yeah. at the table, I would sit down with you or Judy Gold or Chris Jessica Kirsten. But if it's just like Bobby Kelly and that hack hacked them, I've then never no seen thing. Bobby there. But I, I I we I think we there's a reason. I'm, ta- I'm talking about the years the years that uh, that it started. That's what it. I what and I respect on. that. I totally respect that. It was, but this again was four years ago when that wasn't the vibe and Guy was wrong. So I wake up and Guy is like, I think it's really noble what you're trying to do here, Mehran, but how about when I tried to bring down Louie? And he like reposted. All of these people tried to co opt the moment and make it about them, which is what shitty people do. And uh, with that night, Jeff didn't show up to Montreal callbacks. He literally. Within 24 hours, he stopped auditioning people. And then Sunday, he issued his resignation. But Friday, you're talking about Friday, he didn't do callbacks? Uh, no, Friday, I, I I, literally don't know what happened Friday. I worked all night Friday. Right. I also worked all night Saturday. But Saturday, I knew for a fact that he didn't show up to callbacks. Or maybe he left early on Friday. I, I literally don't know. I mean, the, for... I, I couldn't have played a more ancillary role in this. I wasn't there when the shit went down. I wrote a 10 minute, like, you know, like I fired a bullet, you know? It's just so funny. You can ruin a guy's career sitting in a tub on fucking microdose. On like, mushroom. That's so, I mean, if really. Jeff Singer, if Jeff Singer could hear this, he's going to be like, he, he might kill himself. It's like, wait, a gay, fat, gay man was taking a bath <laughs> on mushrooms and he canceled me. Yeah, I mean, like, I really, uh, and I and I didn't give it uh, an, a special. And for the record, the world is better without him being in a gatekeeping position. The world, like, more people are going to uh, will will have an opportunity to to flourish and thrive and be. be yeah, well, here's the problem with gatekeepers: most gatekeepers are assholes, and they don't think they're assholes because everyone kisses their ass. So 
Th- so, this guy was quoted as saying, "If it's if it's not a brassy black chick or a girl I want to fuck, I don't give a shit." Hmm. That's a, and that is a, and that's a our motto and, to it. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but you have no power. If yeah, that's, you were a that's person my with power, profile. that would matter. But being a person of no consequence means that you can have whatever opinion you you, Thank you, you desire. Thank, thanks for the flattery. But going back to what, what Mayor, like Roseanne lost her gig on Ambien, tweeting like a vile, you know, all the time. That's the other thing is that I'm not a fucking Buddhist. Like I'm constantly doing things that are you, you see know, a, I, a buddhist or buddhist 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 what's a, what's a buddhist buddhist Buddha. like a like a, a religion yeah as in i'm not i don't like follow the eightfold path i'm not like oh, i thought you meant buddhist like that's living. a new that's a new term for homosexuality i'm a buddhist yeah, i'm bodyist i'm i i suck bodies all right, so who so who contacted you after this? Like, did, did oh, every, so my phone is blowing up, my Twitter is blowing up, and I barely use social media. So uh, all of a sudden, everyone's telling me their stories, and he said this to me, he said this about this person, and like they were kind of feeding me information so that maybe I would make a case or I would like drive the stake further, and I didn't have to do a fucking thing. All I, I in fact, I. Knowing that people were going to dredge up my own personal shit, I stayed off of social media for two days. That's all. I, I literally just didn't look. The best part about I full for full disclosure, I have to admit, I did invite Jeff Singer on our show. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> Not this show. Not this show. But when it happened, I, I contacted. I was like, I should try to get May run on. And I go, no, fuck that. Let me get Jeff Singer on because everyone's going to try to get May run on. So I'm like. Let me get the other guy. No one then, has given a shit, and I haven't fed into it. I really haven't. No, but he said he appreciated the offer. He said he's he's going to be laying low for a while. Oh, see that again. It was a ten minute bullet. I, I I had no idea it would be a kill shot, and in the end, with the amount of shit I caught, it was kind of a murder suicide. Like it was a little Allahu Akbar. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was pretty think- well written, considering you're on microdosing in a tub. I, I I'm a good writer. I used to, I, that was my job. No, it was long. It wasn't it long? Yeah. I, I, I don't, uh, I, I, it wasn't, it wasn't especially articulate. It wasn't. I, I made it fun of his It was pretty good. Hat. It was, I mean, now in the context of your, in a tub microdosing, it was pretty well written. What is your chances of getting new faces now? Yeah, right. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care about getting new faces so long as I can keep this face new. Ooh. Do you hear what I'm saying? All I want is to keep this fresh you should supple. send him a picture you should send him a picture of your asshole say can this get in new faces <laughs> my god saloon doors um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys always have the funniest things to say about homosexuals about, the, about their buttholes that yeah, it's like a balloon animal doors. at this point Hey, uh, Mayron, let me ask you this before we move forward, because it's been an ongoing we're not, speculation. We're not moving forward anywhere. Oh. <laughs> There's been ongoing speculation from Kevin Brennan that Tim Dillon is not gay. Your thoughts. Go. Oh. Uh, you know what's funny? I saw him. I saw this super nerd, like uh, some, some kid on the spectrum interviewing Tim. And I know that Tim, in his heart of hearts, has no respect for this person, but he was flirting in his own way. I watched Tim flirt. It's the only time I've watched him do a podcast or anything. It's like, I, I get it. I understand what he's about. It's I, I couldn't possibly commit to an hour of it. But uh, he, it's... Maybe he, was he's flirting to, maybe he was flirting to amuse himself and to pretend he's gay. No, I think he... And like, he maybe felt sorry for the guy, because sometimes I'll flirt with like ugly people. Yeah, so to give them aspirations of like uh, maybe they could be with someone like me someday, but they where can't. where do you see yourself on this spectrum? Just curious. On the, on, like, the huh. on the on the look spectrum. Yeah, yeah. For my age, I'm like a twelve. He's the Brad I, Pitt I of podcasting. I agree. I agree. Oh, I Daddy. so I I am so amazing for my age. I I am so good looking. It's beyond. Yeah, I'd look at your yeah. pecker. It's beyond comprehension. <laughs> I mean, even with a even with a headset, people send me like. Look at look at Brennan with his head on his glass. I'm still amazing. I'm amazing. Yeah, oh, well, I'm I'm about to text you my tits. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, but uh, uh yeah, Tim is pro- t- I don't see why Tim would lie about being gay. I do. Why? Cuz then he's protected. He can say whatever he wants. 
Oh, otherwise, otherwise, he's just a fat guy from Long Island. And everybody from Long Island is a fat guy. Even Carrie Carras. <laughs> even, even the women are fat guys. <laughs> so, so how does he separate himself from the pack? He, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, my God. It's genius. No, I it think... was sitting right there all along. All I had to say was he, no one's seen him have sex. Uh, well, I mean... We'll have to believe it. I'm sure. No, we don't. Sure I don't believe it. it at all. The more I talk about it, the more I realize I'm 100% right. You think he? You think he's a, a pussy hound? No, he's just, he, no, he, he's not going to, no one's going to fuck him either way. How many, how much, how many people that Chris Farley have sex oh. with? I'm well, saying, I mean, I'm saying he's not a catch because he's a mess, but I'm saying if he, if, if a gun was to his head, he, I'm saying, I, I, there's no proof that he's gay, and I, I'm, a, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Tim taught me to be a conspiracy theorist. He Him and Joe me. Rogan, they taught me. <laughs> I, I watch their shows religiously. They taught me to question everything. So I'm <laughs> questioning his homosexuality because it's just very convenient. No one's seen any evidence that he's a homosexual. Be sure to check oh, out Kevin's new podcast. Percentage wise, statistically and percentage wise, until you there's proof that you're homosexual, you're heterosexual because the numbers are always that you're heterosexual unless there's proof that you're homosexual because it's like 90%, 10% gay, uh, straight versus gay. So unless he proves to me, I'm going to have to believe he's straight. Tinfoil Close your eyes and picture him sucking your dick. No, I could see him if, they, if it was dipped in chocolate. Yeah, he's a fat fuck. I'm saying, I'm saying I don't, there's no proof that he's gay. There's absolutely zero proof that he's gay. He's, <laughs> not, he's, not, on, he's not on Instagram like Mateo Lane. He, he, he's not flamboyantly gay like you. They just I, there's no proof, and so until I, I'm just gonna lean on uh, on the side <laughs> on, on with statistics. Statistically, he's probably straight because that's where the numbers are in the U.S. population. I I, I don't know. I think he could be into panty I know. play. Huh? I think he could be into panty play. Okay, like I don't want to make this. I don't make this uncomfortable for teams to Tim. So it's fine. So we're you guys. gonna move on. Men wear panties and suck dicks. It happens all the fucking oh, time. I don't give a fuck. That. There's just no proof <laughs> that he's gay. There's no, zero proof that he's gay. So I until th- that, he's straight. <laughs> okay. And it's very <laughs> convenient for him to be gay because then he could be outlandish. Hey Tim. And people t- be like, "Did he?" Tim Dillon really say that? You'd be like, "Yeah, he's gay though, so he can. He's allowed. Just like being black or being trans or being a lesbian." You can say whatever you want because you've been so traumatized by your sexuality. Kevin, to, to Tim's defense, have you ever seen Mainrod have sex with a man? Yeah. I know Mainrod's gay. First of all, he lives with his husband. Mm. And he's the most, <laughs> like I say, when Mayron brings sign. me up. That's a sign. That's a sign. When I say, when, I'm, when <laughs> Mayron brings me up on stage, I say, being a choice, I mean, being gay is, is, is not a choice, but being as gay as Mayron is, that's a choice. <laughs> It's that's amazing. So and there's re- no way he's not gay, Mayron, because then 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 no one's gay. If Mayron's not gay, then nobody's gay. So you're and saying the fact that he, he lives with husband. his husband. He has a husband. Okay. He's we might be on to something. He lives in New York his whole life. I'm a prostitute. I'm starting to think he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> I I have sucked if more dicks than you've had hot dinners. If Tim Dillon was as flamboyant as Mayron, I would I would think, oh, he's probably or if he was on Instagram. Showing, uh, being flamboyantly, uh, I don't know what Mateo Lane you call that, being erotic or whatever. Nude. But I think it's called nude. Yeah. So Mateo's if you want to do that, if if, if the guys who we <laughs> everyone takes for granted that they're gay, act like them, Tim Dillon. Until then, you're straight. <laughs> okay. All right. But yeah, what about Stavros? Stavros is nude. With I don't fuck, I don't even give a fuck. What what do you mean Stavros? Stavros Halkias. He's one of the um, come town. Yeah. Boys. So what's your point? He's gay. But he's naked with Mateo all the time, and apparently he loves pussy. Mm. So you no, can be they're, a they're doing type. a bit. They're doing a bit. They're doing Ooh. a bit. Ooh. That's a different story. So wh- where do we stand with Jeff Singer? Are we done with him? I don't. We- I feel. I mean, I honestly, I don't know that I feel badly because he was a shitty gatekeeper, and okay, uh, name a good name a good gate gatekeeper. Um, briefly, the the producers of uh the year that I did Last Comic Standing, uh, what's I can't Wanda Sykes and why can't I remember her name? The other producer, uh, two like bad lesbians in charge. 
who were absolutely committed to getting different voices on television. Where do you stand with Michael Cox? And it's totally bombed. It totally bombed. First of all, last comic standing, <laughs> last comic standing was the biggest racket. Dan Natterman got raped by them. Uh, uh, they they rigged they rigged the thing. Barry Cass was involved, which automatically means it's filthy dirty. Uh, so we're trying to get we're trying to get him on next week. Uh, so so yeah. So uh, last comic standing has the worst reputation for how they handle comics. It was it was literally a game show. It was not a talent contest my year it was under new production it, re- it really was yeah they went they through eight different teams till they got to one of the sites and she's like everyone should be a lesbian can we get just get black <laughs> lesbians on is it possible would that look fair i think there were notes my season come on <laughs> now we're gonna have to take this whole thing out because he said that why because i said oh yeah, he's allowed it's like out. a black guy saying the n-word they're yeah. my people all right they are absolutely my people. We'll say we'll say what we'll see what Jack at Patreon has to say about that. Mm. Or is that Jack oh, at Twitter? Is it, do you all have to be that kind of careful in order to remain monetized? That feels insane. And mind you, I just wrote a hit piece on a guy. You just saying canceled a guy. I know. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Believe me, I know. This is why Jack. This is why Tim Dillon's gay because you guys can say whatever you want and no one can push back at you. Oh, I first of all, I got you're, you're I mad got at Patreon because of their standards. But you've just canceled uh, the guy who runs Montreal Comedy Festival. So and no one can get mad at you because you're flamboyantly homosexual. Who also has no influence. I have absolutely no. You just got a guy fired. How do you have no influence? But that's you... magic. You can't. You can't. You can't um, catch the wind. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get high tonight. T- take a bath and try to get Dave Chappelle canceled. <laughs> Fighters, <laughs> but that, that's the other thing. I almost it's, texted him last night, and I almost texted him and go, "You feel good about yourself now? Do you feel whole that that people cheered you?" Um, he's the most lauded person. I mean, people just they they bend over backwards. To, it's yeah. Embarrassing. Let's get some more bookers canceled. What about JP Buck? How what can we do to him? <laughs> I, th- this is the other thing. I don't know any of these people. This is. Can I tell you? People called me, and they they were like tattling on other people in the industry for like a calendar week. I was just getting calls from people who were like, "Did you hear about? I just had this thing happen with this booker." Like I was supposed to then follow up and like every day write a new piece on on someone I didn't even know. Do you know what I mean? Jeff had offended me personally. When I auditioned for him 13 years ago, he said, I've seen gay before. And I was like, first of all, I'll kill you. I don't and know I've that seen you've it seen way, a gay who will I've kill seen you. it way better with Tim Dillon. In the dog pile that happened on me, there were these girls in Boston who all started at the same time. And two of them immediately started dating guys who had been around for years in the Boston comedy scene. And I just told them very plainly, I was like, girl, don't make an accessory of yourself before you've said you've made your own name. I was like, you don't want to enter the scene as accessory to one of these dudes. Make your own name. And somehow that got twisted into me saying that, uh, like, I was I was holding them back as women. I was like, yeah, this but is again, you can fucking- say it because you're gay. If I say it, all the stuff I'm saying can get back to me. But but if you say it, you're gay and people give you the benefit of it's, the doubt. It's not just that. I genuinely want these women to succeed. I want more. I do voices. too. I want everyone to succeed. Do you really? Yes. Uh, do Except you Dave Chappelle. Disease? Except for Dave Chappelle <laughs> and your brother. Um, I'm on Team Neil. This is a big. This is big. This, this is, is big, big news, news that you're Team Neil. This is big, 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 big. Can news. you flesh it out for me? What? What's? What's the switch? I just told you when I, I saw Dave it. Chappelle singing. And hey, Ron, look at this. He made his brother a millionaire, and he beat him in Star Search. So. He's a little angry. Is that true? Who who beat who in Star Search? I'm dead. Dave Chappelle beat uh, Kevin Brennan. Beat you, Kevin? There's one guy. Uh, one guy's Twitter is is at Three Star Champion. Oh my god. That's that's my that's <laughs> my uh, Star Search name. <laughs> so I can understand why he's a little annoyed with Ke- uh, David. No, oh, it's because- not. I don't even care. I just I I just get sick of like. The fact that people put these people on a pedestal and they're fucking clowns. 
they're literally clowns. And because I'm a comic or I used to be a comic, uh, now, oh yeah, shout out to Red Bar. I guess Red Bar's having problems. Uh, he hasn't done a show in weeks now. And uh, so Medical I, problems? I guess I'll fill the void that Red Bar used to do. I'll just talk about comics and I'll retire and then just talk about comics forever. Wait, that's what Kirkman did. And Kirkman was the one who really drove the story about Jeff Singer, not me. I mean, like she picked up the tweet Ran with oh, it. Jen Kirkman just causes problems. On I love it. I mean, <laughs> like, if you're going to go out, the, the idea of burning bridges, the idea of, like, standing there with a smoking match still in your hand is just as beautiful an image. It's how I would like to remember everyone is with a I'm just saying, I'm just you. saying, because comedy world is very, like, everybody knows everybody. Everyone just has to go along with everybody else's, like, you know, the bullshit. And then... You know, whether it's Jeff Singer, whether it's Dave Chappelle, you, you, you know, you're afraid of them. So you just have to just kind of go like, no, I think it makes total sense that Dave Chappelle should be in the Foo Fighters concert. And because if and if I say it's stupid, people are like, you're bitter. Even if I am bitter, it's still stupid for Dave Chappelle to be at the fucking Foo Fighters show on his day off. You know, like, where okay. should I go? Maybe he's going for a walk. And then, uh, you know, he's walking by Madison Square Garden. He goes. Hey, they'll probably let me on stage here instead of and doing a spot instead of, because they're instead irrelevant. of doing a spot at the comedy cellar. Hey, hey, let me in, Madison. He's knocking on the door. Hey, I'm Dave Chappelle. Can you can you whisk me up on stage so I can sing "Creep" by by? It's not even a is that what he said. Yeah, Radiohead's "Creep." It's oh, fucking, it's so laughable, but it's, I'm it was very weird. I'm 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 bitter because I point out the obvious. And Dave Grohl's really pushing his "I'm cool." Thing too much. All right, back oh, he's off. A fucking, he's like he's like rock. Oh, me. No. He's like he's like rock and roll Neil. <laughs> he has he basically has no talent, but people are cheering for him because he used to be in a good band. They're like, we support you because the other guy's dead. I think that we want to support. Color. We want to support the other guy, but he's dead. He killed himself with a shotgun oh, to the mouth. Shit. Oh shit! Oh, so we're gonna support you. We're gonna take all our love for that band and. Give it to you. Rock and roll, Neil. <laughs> it's brutal. I think, listen, but I, so this is the thing, Kevin, were you getting booked on Montreal? Because th I think they need you. No, they, first of all, even Andy Kindler, who's supposed to be like the, the, the guy with, with the fresh take uh -huh. on show business, he goes up to the last time I listened to his speech, I only listened to one, and it wasn't that, it wasn't that many years ago. All he shits on is people that aren't there. He shits on anybody that he doesn't take a, he doesn't go after, uh, he goes after nobody who's there, no black comics, no Jewish comics, no, no, people that basically run the industry. He just takes, he takes pot shots at people that aren't there. He's a, he's a fucking coward. He's a hundred percent. And he's like, again, but he's a Jew. So he's an inside guy, but he's like, Hey, I, I take shots. He takes shots at nobody who's actually physically at the festival because he's four feet tall and he'll get his ass kicked. Ah, he, did. He, he's never going to see anybody. You know, maybe he'll see him at the comedy store, but he doesn't probably go if out. He stands and, on an apple crate. He has a better chance of seeing. But he he's, he doesn't do a lot of sets in, in uh, L.A., so he's known for this. But again, complete coward, goes after nobody who's there. It's just it's just it's pathetic. Didn't Jeff uh, Singer put you on Montreal, Kevin? Chad, are you serious? I don't know. Are you going to release Saturday's show? Because yeah. I, I can't. Why, are you changing, why is he changing the subject? I'm not. It's just Chad. That's what Chad was doing all day Saturday. Hey, Brad, <laughs> what do you think about Neil? Who do you like better, Neil or Kevin? I'm drunk. I'm drunk, Chad. Fucking hilarious. I didn't even I watch think he, it. Listen, he, he got all dressed up for you today, Kevin. He put on his sister's shirt. He got... I, now I'm doing Bobby Kelly, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, Bobby Kelly. What is this, David? We have the telly? <laughs> hey, we need some good-natured ribbing. Yeah, where's um, Patrice? <laughs> where is Patrice? Where? Where is he? <laughs> He's everywhere now. He's everywhere. Um, so but you you started asking a question, or or you opened an idea, Kevin, that uh, that Jeff is just someone who was, just, who was doing his job. And that he was that he was booking a show that he thought would succeed in Montreal for a Montreal audience. And uh, that's something I had to grapple with was that 
when it was all over, I was just pissed that Jeff wasn't celebrating the people that I would like to see celebrated. That I actually had to get in touch with the fact that like this is kind of just my preference versus his preference, except he was he had become a dick about it. Right, because most people who have power ultimately abuse it. So that's that's the nature of the human race. Mm. But uh, but uh, you know, I mean, Jeff Singer. Um, I mean, I don't. Even, I like I've known Jeff Singer a long time, so I don't. You know, I wanted him on the show just because I thought it'd be good to get him on the show. But also, I thought you know he'd give a side. The last time he, the last time I was supposed to be up for it, uh. I talked to him like literally in this room. He called me, or I or I called him, and and uh, he t- whatever. So he's like, I want you to go for whatever, whatever he was going to put me up for. And then uh, so I talked to him. Whatever. I talked to him for a long time, and then he goes, just come by to a spot at the stand on Tuesday. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. And then the girl before me, some old some old gal. I don't even know who she was. She's from Boston, but she's some old gal, and she she really had a good set. And then I, when I went up, I was just another white guy, and I didn't, you know, I didn't really do well. And the stands like a tough room to audition because it's so mm. small mm. that if you're not like, if you don't like, it's just easy. It's if you don't get that crowd that's there, which is stupid. But like, if you do, when you used to audition at the comic strip, you weren't at the mercy of the twenty people mm. at the stage. You know, you mm. can play past the twenty people. But at the stand, you got to play literally play to that fucking crowd. Yeah, that's like Jim Florentine going to a Wu Tang concert. Yeah, so you got to play literally to the crowd, which which in an audition, with in a nom- normal set, I don't give a shit. But in an audition, it's a little, it's a you little. You want to put your best foot forward, yeah. No, it's just a little awkward where you literally have to make these people right at the stage like you, where you can, where you can't just play over them and just play to the whole room. So I didn't have a great set. I never heard from them again. I was pissed. I didn't care. What's what's yeah. it gonna what's it gonna is Montreal gonna make that much of a difference for me at this point? But but for young for young people yeah for young the people for is, the young people that's the, that's who I really care about is the young people. But that's all that's I believe the children are the future. Oh, oh Treat them well and let them be the way. Yeah. Da, 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 the they possess inside. Come on. Give them a chance to go. Yes, yes. To the festival. Yes. In Montreal. Kevin's about the kids, man. Why don't I get? Why don't I go up at the Foo Fighter show? I'm a better Holy singer than that guy. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> you should have. You should have gone up with Whitney Houston. I believe Whitney is dead. See, I'll just riff. <laughs> She's with Patrice now. They're both okay. God, you're like weird now. And their daughter, and their daughter. Oh fuck! That, that family has bad luck with drugs and alcohol and baths. <laughs> it, I mean, it, you know, it, at least it, you didn't it die when you took a bath on your drugs. You didn't. You didn't fucking drown. No, and I'm black in the tub people, all the time. Black people are not good swimmers. Even in a fucking bath, they they'd struggle. Oh come on! No, I said it. Fuck it. Well, they it's, gonna, it's I didn't a, say any bad words. As long as you don't say bad words, Patreon can't cancel you. Oh, for the love of Christ! But this is the thing. That what I'll tolerate in terms of comedy, sky's the limit. Sky is the actual limit. But what uh, I think rubbed me the wrong way about Singer was that, like, I think he actually believed a lot of this, like, imbalanced shit. And then he created a very limiting environment for new talent. But also, I think a lot of the times new talent is, if they if they have an agent or somebody or they're friends with somebody famous somebody like if you're if you don't have somebody like uh going to bat for you it's mm. i think it's hard to get montreal unless there's a there's like a lot like i like a lot of word of mouth about you like i just think i, I there's too many people trying to get it and there's a lot of agents fucking chomping at his ear and it's just cuz it is a it is a, a good opportunity for these guys I, you know they think it's bigger than it is Mm. but uh but getting new faces yeah a lot of times they don't go on to do anything and but you know in other cases it's uh it's kind of a thoroughfare into late night sets and that's the way right. a career well if you're if you're a woman or a black or some or, or one of the others per- person of color please <laughs> well yeah but here's the thing is that i am a person of color like not it doesn't read you know, but I, you know, I'm a green card person. I'm an immigrant. 
I'm, you know, I'm old, but keeping it tight for old. I, you just Where's said my... you had saloon doors for an asshole. But listen, like the, I mean, the face. Um, my asshole has, it's like there's a ghost. By the way, it's a new t shirt you need to make. What? My saloon asshole? doors. Yeah, it has saloon, saloon doors. Saloon doors. I mean, I'm saying that there's all kinds of, it, it really, it looks like a, like there's been a fight. You know what I mean? By Mine's the way, like, who... once gay pride. All the time. Every day when I wake up. And I and I leave my apartment, which is like one day in seven a week. She, all kidding aside, when's Gay Pride? It's it's the month of June. Ah, it used yeah. to be a day, it used to be a week, and now it's a fucking. Now, yeah, month. I think I think the the parade or something is coming up. It's like on a yeah. Sunday. I hope I hope I see Tim Dillon. Ah, as a float. I mean, like on a float. As a float. On a float. He's big on enough a to be a. He's big enough to be his own float. I am. I don't. I think he's probably got ten pounds on me. No, he's was, a big. He's a big blubbery fatty. I was doing a joke last year. I said they canceled the gay pride parade. And gay people should be angry and pissed, and they should protest with floats. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's the other thing. Is that it's it's all incredibly easy to be. You know. Yeah, you Once don't even have, to, have to, to do anything. You just say it, and people go, "I guess he is." Yeah, well, it's like being a comedian, but. Right. Uh, but, you know, once upon a time, I had to, you know, be in a room that might turn hostile. And I would have to hold my own. That right. was that was part of, right. you know. You were a pioneer and you were brave. You were like Eddie Murphy in 48 hours going into that country bar. Also in a leather suit. That was finally a good analogy. That was actually good. Yeah, it's like Florentine going to a Wu-Tang concert. See, he, call back. That's a call back. When it's he, verbatim. He down. Yeah, he just quarantine <laughs> asked him to say his name on the show. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> no, because he knows that this is going viral. We yeah, got the I, gay pang dang. Jesus, and the, but you. So Kevin knows me. The thing is, that Kevin knows me. And he knows that like I'm not. I don't. I'm not like a very sensitive person. Yeah. Plus, you're not a troublemaker. I'm, and I'm kind of not a trouble. Ah! I've always been. This is the second time I've done this, and I got a. Uh, I made a manager at the cellar quit in the same week. Yeah, and I have always heard you're too hot to handle and too cold to hold. God damn it! You mean <laughs> wait, this? Wait, you got a you got a manager fired? This I'm not week? on. I didn't get him fired. The he same walked. week. Yeah. The same week. Yeah. As Jeff Singer. Yeah. Wow. I, well, here's the thing. My asshole, and this is. I know it sounds like I'm just like all roads lead to my asshole, and. Like in terms of paving, they do. Um, what? But but it, it's it's well visited. My point. I I I got a fistula over COVID, so they had to sew up my asshole, Ew. and it's the worst surgery. In wait, the wait, what? Life. What? What? Yeah, yeah. Team yeah. Satam, Team Satam. You should skip. You should skip. Yeah, ahead. fast like, forward. Yeah, thirty seconds. Skip yeah. it. You got skip a it. fist. You got a fist. Yeah, I got a <laughs> fistula, and it, it's how you get it is by someone fisting your eula. Hey, Rob. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't get fucking fisted. Uh, uh, no, I just I shit wrong or something. My dad had them. I it's it's hereditary, and so they had to stitch up my asshole, and it got screwed up. So I had to, they put me on Bactrim, and that's uh it's an antibiotic you can't drink on. So that sober week was Jeff Singer and a manager at the cellar. I should never be sober. I should never be fucking. Wait, how sober. did a manager at the cellar got fired? He was lighting me while I was doing a bit in between acts, literally. Like if I could, I could go into detail of why I was doing a longer bit, but trust me, someone said I, I was, I was reconditioning the audience to hearing stupid shit. And, um, and he was lighting me and I'm like, are you kidding me? I got the last show out 20 minutes early. Like I've done this in this room for six years. You don't need to worry about me. And, uh, I, I, I was really polite about it. I was like, could we, you, you don't have to do that. I got it. And then he was like, oh, what? You have a problem? I can't manage you. And he starts puffing his chest out at me. And I, I was on mushrooms again. And I broke out my fan and I started fanning myself. Like, because I was wet. I was sweating a ton. And, but like I cracked it kind of near his face and he got nervous and then he walked. Mm. Oh, he quit? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, he, you didn't get him fired. It's That's so funny. It's so well, Jeff funny. Singer didn't quit. He quit. Jeff like, Singer quit too. Yeah, he's, he he makes people step down. So wait, let me go back. So you shit wrong, and you had to have surgery. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, so we it go forward. It, imagine like, is that like when a woman's having a baby up they, they have to cut her to make room okay. and then they have picture to... an episiotomy not quite yeah. but like picture an anthill right now no no, picture... no i just would just just describe it what happened i we don't have time for anthills no but i'm saying if what if an ant decided like one or two ants decided to leave through a hole that wasn't the anthill that's what a fistula is and, right? and it's when, like did you, when did you find out? How did you find out you had it? I got a giant abscess and couldn't sit. And yeah. that's from having anal sex? And I had to have, no, it's literally hereditary. It's literally just bad luck. And your dad you was gay too? Him. My dad, I, he, my, I don't <laughs> think he was. I don't, like the, once he died, we found these pictures of him like on like French beaches and shit that felt so, so. But uh, was Tim Dillon there? Mm, Listen, so wait, your dad had this too? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh and then you yeah, have to sew up your there's a you have two, is, they're they're relatively common. They you are have relatively two assholes common. and they have to close it up. It wasn't like two assholes. It's like a rivulet inside inside my asshole and they had to like flip it inside out, cut me open, hey, sew it back up. I was on so many painkillers and I bur I like I burned through painkillers. I they I it was supposed to last me two weeks. I probably lasted me three days. So if you're if you're sober and you're taking acid, you, you get everybody in fired and stuff. Not on it's purpose. So weird. I swear I was being so peaceful. Like while it was happening, I was genuinely in a state of peace the entire week. It's so weird. Super weird. So who else is going down? Let's take down Robbie Pra. So so now you're now you're drinking again and everything's fine. And everything's I'm, everything's back to normal. I'm only belligerent like for a couple of hours a night that I don't remember. It's localized, and then I spend the rest of the day being very well behaved so that people forget that I was a lunatic just prior to falling asleep. Okay. Is that wrong? Is that an unhealthy lifestyle? Listen, when you're gay, nothing's wrong. I'm saying. Especially during Pride Month. And honestly, it's like when you suck you guys should the be, number you guys, of you guys should be able to, you guys, in Pride Month, you should be able to just go in and steal candy. Like, whatever you want. <laughs> just you I guys, do shoplift it's, repa more. it's reparations. Yeah, that's right. For all the years where, um, actually, it, I haven't had a bad go of it, if I'm being real. You, you know? Survived, you survived AIDS. Yeah, yeah, but no, but not because I used condoms. Mm. You know what I mean? You know my number is three. Right. Three times I used a condom in my entire sexual career. Mm. Same condom. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, no, that's so, so stupid. I know, that, so I know stupid. that joke it's and I bit. still laugh. <laughs> I know the so joke. Stupid. I've heard it seven times already. <laughs> I still laugh. That's how good the joke is. Mm. Chad, how many times have you used a condom? Numbers are pretty low. But more than three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. than three. And Chad has AIDS, which is so ironic. That's God so, bless him. Is that's that why the tan? Florida, that... That's why he's in Florida and living the life, because he only has a couple of weeks left. Yeah. <laughs> this was my Make-A-Wish Foundation, this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't. He, he, is, he is the color that when Tom Hanks paints himself in Philadelphia and he gets that orange tip, that is a Chad. That's a Chad tan. <laughs> Shout out to Tom Chad. Hanks. It's too bad, Chad. It's too bad, Chad. That, that wasn't like a. You got a Chad? Yeah, I got a perfect tan. <laughs> the Chad. A perfect. Florida I want a tan. Chad. I would totally. I would kill to do, to be your color. Kill. All you gotta do is go outside. That's not true. I burn and then it falls off. I don't believe it. I That's turn into Irish. Adam. You're not Literally, Irish. It's, right now I'm red because I went for a two mile walk. That by morning I'll be Adam. You're not Irish. Yeah, we just get pink Irish. and then mm. peel. Mm. All right, anything else? I think I'm going to do a short show today because, first of all, we already we already did a good show. And second mm. of all, um, it's hot. And uh, third of all, I think we covered everything. Yeah, I love you guys. I think you're No, all don't hang so up. Don't hang funny. up. Don't hang okay. up. But, um, Chad, you got anything? 
Uh, yeah, according to the Cellar website, you're hosting at the Cellar tomorrow, May. Is that right? I, I'm, I host all the time. Right now, my husband has to leave for Hong Kong soon, <laughs> so I'm taking... <laughs> Trust me, I know. Hey, that's gay. When you say, when Tim Dillon <laughs> says my husband has to leave for Hong Kong, then I'll yeah. know he's gay. <laughs> I mean, if I show you my dog, you'll just know what a complete sodomite I am. It's, and for, it's the, for the record... Mayron's the best uh, host they have there. Uh, That's unbelievable. Is he better than Will Sovens? A little bit. I wouldn't say so. Will is so so. Though we're all very different animals. But I, I so until my husband leaves mid July, I'm until like my working, husband leaves. I'm working like a, a skeleton. Like I work. I'm only doing like three, three or four shows a week. What yeah. show are you hosting tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, I think it's. Oh, I'm not there. Right. Village. I wish. I wish you were on every show. I think the audience. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not talking treat. about. I'm not talking I'm not about tra- me. I'm not blowing snow. You know. I mean, I'm it's saying. smoke. It's because they call it smoke. What blowing I, snow I, sounds I, like doing it, cocaine. It, it all goes. It all goes in my mouth. No, I'm saying. I'm saying it's good if the host is good, and a lot of times they aren't. But you mm. are the best one there for me. For me. Who's the, who's the worst host, Kevin? I've That's I've so thought, I've, I've I've said their names before. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> fucking placate you, Chad. Ah. Uh, just He's already. Like, they, you, you can't. That's the thing. You can't run around like constantly reburning bridges. If that's what they want to be doing, no, it's tired. It get, it's and and it, it becomes. And that's unnatural. all you're known for. That's all you're known for. And like I don't. The, no, I'm saying I'm speaking yeah, for myself. I, I hear so you. Don't you. Wanna, you don't want to get a reputation like I do. You have a fabulous reputation in the gay you know? community, but not in the street. <laughs> As trade and in the Asian trade. community with Pang Dang, Pang yes. Dang, we got to get him back on. We got to get an update. Was we he on your some... show? Did you get Pang Dang on? We got him. I talked to him on the phone. He wouldn't do my show. He okay. was scared, but it's, it's enough smoke's cleared, so I think he can come on. Well, now. we've had a we've had a good uh, spring. We got Pang Dang. We got Whitney Cummings' sister, and we got. Uh, what did Whitney uh, Cummings' sister do? Did she out Whitney for being some kind of femme? Yeah, evil, evil person. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, go, you can go watch it on Kevin's YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube. I'm I'm wicked in. I'm in. You can't listen to it on iTunes though. Why not? Oh, because oh, did Whitney have a fucking? Did she sue? <laughs> no, Kevin has a. <laughs> yeah, strategy. she had it stricken. <laughs> there are people doing all kinds of shit. No, like I that. know. That's why it's so hilarious. I never even thought that. No, like I want to put it on. I wanted to put it on one platform to get just so everyone would watch it together and hold hands. No, I I, I think like sometimes to put it on every platform. Is dumb, you know. It, it does dilute it. I, yeah, I appreciate you, you get, it. And everyone you get, goes on YouTube anyhow. Yeah, then you get comments here. You get com- I want. I want all the comments to be together. And the comments were fantastic. So. Oh, I uh, can't wait. I, I'm literally going to listen to it as soon as I get off with you. All. Yeah, take take some acid and then jump in the tub and then. And just, watch. I tell you about when I took acid by accident. That my dealer gave me acid candies and I thought I was eating a marijuana candy and instead I ate an acid candy and woke up at seven in the morning tripping my face off, and an apartment that was just full of ottomans my husband and i bought too many ottomans when we were decorating what ottomans so wait it never bothered you until you woke up with the... so when you went to bed it wasn't full of ottomans it was full of ottomans but when oh, i it woke was. up it was just a color explosion of cushions <laughs> i thought you woke up full of ottomans i thought while you were sleeping your husband's like let me fill this apartment yeah. with ottomans ottomans is a pretty gay purchase it's oh, yeah. the, uh, my uh, my living room is ten ottomans, and they're tufted. I'll never they're own tuft- an ottoman. Tufted. <laughs> I'll never they're own a, a leaf blower or an ottoman. Well, those are. Oh, I don't need to. Man. You know, I don't need a leaf blower <laughs> or a, a ladder. Leaf, is a leaf blower a euphemism for something gay? Yeah, yeah. It's when you hold a gay man by his ankles, and then he cr- he did his front hand are like puppy puppy feet, and he's like. <laughs> And he and he literally just looks for dry leaves, and he's. Ah, <laughs> uh, gay people are always funny. That was funny. Was, Neil was always right about that. Neil would say, "Gay people are the funniest." He goes, "If you get a black gay man, the funniest guys on the planet." Christian Finnegan came for me. What? He attacked me. Attacked wow. me. What does that have to do Online, with black gay he man? went absolutely ape shit. Well, Christian Finnegan, I think of your brother. I think of the the only thing that people know oh. him for is that Chappelle skit. Whoa! Oh, are you talking about Christian or Neil or both? Christian. Anyway, um, mm. so we, he came after you for going after Jeff Singer. Mm-hmm. Maybe he was up for Montreal. Yeah, maybe he fucked up his chances. <laughs> <laughs> his chance. What did he say? 
What did he say? Uh, so the, I had, I was dying of, of, of diabetes. And uh, so I had to have my guts rewired to make myself malabsorptive to sugars. Long story. What the fuck? I, it's, it's all fucked up. I, I will always take the surgical solution over a healthy lifestyle. I would rather just continue to take my drugs, but then uh, have be you know, rewind. I like how everybody's getting canceled while you're high. You're like, <laughs> the life. so many Ottomans. Who should I cancel today? <laughs> I mean, I kind of am living my best life, except it's misery, you know? And I didn't but, mean, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to offend you by saying black gay men are funnier than uh, uh, Iranian gay men. That I, I, I was taking it to heart. I was going to lose sleep over it, you know? Because not only is he gay, he's, <laughs> he's Iranian. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Barely legal. That's why I don't understand a sunburn because you don't think of Middle Eastern people getting sunburned. Well, they it's seem a, to, it's they a seem big, to take the sun pretty well. We're from the <laughs> we take a lot of stuff. No, we it's uh, we're I'm from the north uh, northwest of Iran. We're pretty like light light skinned. All right, mm. all right. So what if Christian Finnegan? Uh, so I was stuck in you, his. Do you have a relationship? Do you have a relationship? coffee shop? Do you have was, a relationship with him? I was in his wife's coffee shop doing free comedy because I'm a fucking saint. And uh, literally it was dumping. It was like the, the rain. It was just one sheet of water falling outside. It was insane. And they didn't have any food for sale in the actual hmm. coffee shop. When was this recently or during no, the this pandemic? Was like fucking, it was like it's way, this is like five years ago. Oh. Or no, 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 no. It might be three years ago. And I'm like – can I order something like just run across the street, get some food, come back here and eat it. Cause they didn't even have counters at the place across the street. And he was like, yeah, we don't allow outside food. And I was like, guy, I had surgery. And if I don't like take in calories, my like bad shit can happen. I really, I literally should need to eat something. He was like, okay, you can, you can eat in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> he was dead serious about it. And I was like, okay, you cunt. <laughs> I was like, you fucking cunt. And I, I was like, you, you're fucking this cunt coffee shop. You can go fuck yourself. I absolutely, again, not a Buddhist, right? Not, it's not about the way of peace. So I told him, I called him 18 different kinds of cunt. And uh, he, he was like, Mehran was the rudest person on the phone to me ever. Like, he chose that moment where I was taking down a, not even on purpose, where I was taking down a... Uh, like a bigot, for for lack of a better word, like a, a bigot gatekeeper. He was like, Mehran was rude to me. So he so he he retweeted your tweet or something like that. No, he retweeted this other kid's thing, which is a whole other thing. All right. So you thought it was inappropriate because he was he's ta he's taken. It, he was just your... being such a spaz about it and like unearthing it in this way, and we had squashed it. Like I was I was honestly I I saw him some. Uh, months later or like a year later i was like i'm sorry that that happened part of the rewiring of the guts thing is it makes you hormonal and a little crazy i probably went overboard i'm sorry about that like bygones and he, he was like we're never going to be best friends or anything but i get it we're cool i was like exactly like i'm not in love with you you don't have to be in love with me but we're at least this is squashed and then he unearthed it like it was fresh like it was fresh. That pussy. That guy is now. Now he's on my fucking forever shit list. Forever. And again, shit. Yes. I can just mm. picture in by twenty four hours he's like out of the comedy scene. <laughs> <laughs> Mayron so takes a bath and he's down. He's done. <laughs> it was so psycho. He was a psycho about it. Mayron, I'm on your Twitter right now. Do you know a Joel Kim Booster? Yeah, I love Joel. Yeah, he he had your back. Yeah. Joel's said, a good kid. He said, Jeff Singer sucks ass. Good on you for saying so. People outside the industry don't know what guts this takes. Oh, that's fair. He, he was, he, Joel had I would agree with him, except he was high. <laughs> Why is it? It's, it takes no, more because guts. it was like I had a problem with Artie Lang one time, and he goes, I was probably speeding at the time. So I'm like, I don't give a shit. You're still responsible for what you do I, I, I when you're when you're high or not high. So it's I, like I, I, so the it's last like he thing wasn't being. I mean, Mayron maybe was being brave or or whatever, but he was also high. So you got to factor. No, in. I was barely high, and also like I'm not someone. So you who think walks you think back. you're more? You think you're more high? You were more high or more brave when this happened? I it it, di it didn't require bravery, and it wasn't because I was high. It, the the fact that I hit send on it. 
And the fact that I made it public the next day out of as a request, someone made a request. Uh, the, both of those things I did with impunity. I, they What's didn't that require, mean? What does that mean? As in, they didn't require bravery. I was All like, right. if, if I, what are you going to do? Not give me Montreal? You were never going to give me Montreal. What are you going to do? Close a door for me? You were never going to open them. People who use me, use me. People who book me, book me. And the people who were going to, you know, put distance from me because I'm unsafe, they were going to do that any the fuck how. I don't know why I would walk on teacups for these fuckers. All right. Well, that's a fair point. You had, you had, you had little to lose because he wasn't going to use you anyway. He wasn't. And, and, and all of the nervous Nellies are in the same – they're in the same sort of bucket. There's no reason that I should be minding my step for people who are going to be uh, politics nervous. It's never going to be my beat. I mean, you're taught, you're you're preaching to choir. Chad canceled himself because he didn't want to deal with it anymore. So he moved to Florida, and he's and uh, he's living yeah. his best life. He's living his best life. He, he honestly, he looks happy, and he was biking home from a bar the other day. Let me tell you something: a lot of people he went to high school with have much sadder lives. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Kent Roosevelt High School? <laughs> <laughs> He's biking home drunk on a Saturday. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love the idea of doing that. I thought it was funny, except when the guy who's I, I basically I, I think Chad's great when he's drunk, but but not when he's running the Zoom. Then it gets a little dicey. Yeah, that was yeah. uh was. I'll put it up on MLF later tonight, so you guys. Yeah. Can... So now the fans. Now we're teasing out the fans, but yeah, put it up on MLF and see <laughs> see what happened. Plus, the uh, Brad Williams Wi-Fi was was terrible at his hotel. Because they didn't want to pay nine dollars to get the upgraded, but you know, we all make decisions in life. We do. Anywho, some of us will tweet on mushrooms. Some of us. Mayron, we love you. I, I love I, you. I, my only sadness is that I don't have your uh, phone number. I think I do, but whenever, I, whenever I have to, contact I still have him, your phone number. I totally have your phone number. No, whenever I you. contact him, it's always through DM, and I'm like, I, I know this. Shouldn't I know this? I know this guy well enough. I should have his real number, but text you right now. All right. Anyway, right. we love you. I mean, love you. Listen, we we should have you on more because you're really funny. And gay guys, gay guys are they they have a special when it comes to comedy. Do they do have a special kind of uh, something? I think you guys just grow up. You have to you have to look at life kind of funny because it's you're gay and and you know once you realize you're gay, you're like, oh, this is goofy. And then you just have to make the best of it. I think humor helps, right? Am I right or wrong? You're you're right about that. And also there is nothing like uh stand-up comedy is is undignified, but sucking a dick is it, there's just no pride left. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you ever take a selfie of yourself sucking a dick, <laughs> you just look like garbage. And so once you once you cross that, once you cross that line. It's, all, it's any, all yuck yucks. If you can suck a dick, you can do anything in life, kids. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I just always picture like if I was gay and and, the, and my boyfriend's like suck my dick, I'd be like, you suck my dick first. Like I'm too competitive. <laughs> I'm too competitive to be like a real good gay guy because I'd be like, yeah. you suck mine first. You know, with a woman, always ladies first. But with two guys, how do you just decide? You flip a coin or what, what do you do? No, we there there are standoff mo- weeks or months. Like it'll be like, no, you have to blow me. Like literally, if you don't blow me, I'm not blowing you. <laughs> and then we, try- <laughs> yeah. If Teamster <laughs> Sim hasn't checked out by now, he has. <laughs> 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 All right, right great great episode, Mayron. We love you. Love uh, you. Uh, I forgot. I don't know if we have to do anything today. Maybe we'll do the Ring of Honor. What's the date? Oh, we didn't even do the Ring of Honor this month. We'll do it uh, next week or something. Oh, this week. Anyway, I don't want. I don't want. To, I don't want to soil this episode with fucking with uh, doing uh, uh, commercial reads and all the stuff that we normally do. So this we'll Wednesday we have Eleanor Kerrigan on. So sign up to Patreon. Yeah, she's a she's a Dice's right hand man. Yeah, I guess and not she likes, a man. And she likes to talk some shit. So we'll have fun. All bye. right, Mayron, thank you so much. Bye, guys. All right, Lots bye. of love. God bless. Bye. Let's Count bring home road. those troops. Yeah, bring home the troops. At noon. <laughs> <laughs>